Hello again and welcome to Programming in Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop and today we're going to be going over update queries. So let's back out of here, go into the Access database and I'm going to pull up the Table 1 Customers table where we have Metro Properties here as one of our companies along with all those other ones that we've added. <clears throat> and let's say that Metro Properties just got bought out and now they need to change their name to something else, okay? So rather than uh, go in here and actually manually go in and go Smiles Inc., okay, which is their new name, we need to instead change it to, uh, we want to change all of them because clearly they, we don't want to just change it on this one. We want to change it on all of the Metro properties that we have in our system for them, right? So how do we do that? Well, we want to do an update query. So I'm going to go to Create tab, Query Design, and I'm just going to close this real quick. I'm going to show you that I can click on the Update button here in the Design tab. Notice I'm under the Design tab. Click on Update. Now I'm going to add a table by right-clicking anywhere in the Design Viewer, and click Show Table. And the table I'm updating is the table one customer. So let's go ahead and add that. Now, what I need to do is I need to select the customer name field because that's the field that I'm going to be making the change on. Remember, I'm changing the customer name field for Metro Properties. So I'm going to go in here and I'm selecting customer name as the field that I'm going to be changing. Now I need to say, what am I updating to? What am I? I haven't yet said what it is that I'm updating. I'm just saying, what am I going to be changing it to? And that would be Smiles Inc. All right. Now, in my criteria, just like with the select query, I can filter down to just those those rows that equal something. So I'm going to say. I copied and pasted Metro Properties here. So essentially what I'm saying here is in the customer name field of Table 1 Customers, I want to update all of the instances where Metro Properties is there, and I want to change it to Smiles Inc. All right? So if I click on the view, you can see it's just going to give me a preview of Metro Properties and how many it found. It's not making any changes to the data yet, so my preview is not really going to show me anything, uh, any of those changes. So I'm going to actually need to go to Run. Remember, Design tab and then Run. When I click on this, it says I'm about to update three rows. I can click Yes, and now I'm going to go ahead and close. I'm going to oh, I don't even need to close it. It's already been changed for me here. Here we go. Smiles Inc. Smiles Inc. and Smiles Inc. So that's how you do an update query. Now let's say that I wanted to do an update on just one of these. So let's say, for example, I knew that the ID of the company I wanted to change was ID number 17. Okay. Well, all I have to do is go back into my query and take out this criteria. I'm going to put in ID as another one of my criteria, but I'm not going to say that I'm changing it to anything. Instead, I'm just going to make it my criteria. And remember, 17 is what I'm looking for, for an ID as part of my criteria. So there we go. So this is saying I want to change the customer name to Smiles Inc. wherever ID is equal to 17. All right, so now when I go to Design, click on Run, it says I'm about to update just one row this time. I click on Yes, go on to my Table 1 Customers, and it's the same one, isn't it? So let's try, just so we can make sure, I'm just going to incorporate it. That way we can make a really good distinction of the difference here. All right, so go to Design, click on Run, Yes, and... Now in our Table 1 customers, it's changed to Smiles Incorporated. All right. So let's do this one more time, because now I want to change this um, anywhere where we had Smiles Inc. I want to change it to Smiles Incorporated. OK, 
Okay. When I do that, click on View. Or excuse me, I hit the wrong button again. All right, I'm going to click on Run. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And it says, I'm about to update zero rows. Okay. Well, why zero rows? Aren't I changing Smiles Inc. to Smiles Incorporated? Didn't I just do that? Well, some of you may have noticed I, on the slide there, I had a period in here and I took it out. That's because this criteria is very literal. It must be exactly equal to Smiles Inc. So, obviously, since I have Smiles Inc. here with a period, it didn't match up to these two. So what I need to do is I need to introduce wildcards, okay? What I'm going to do here is since I know Smiles Inc., all of these are going to come with the uh, INC, even this one, Smiles Inc., has also got Smiles space INC. What I can do is I can introduce a wildcard. So what I'm going to do is add a asterisk. And automatically you'll see that Access put in this like keyword. This is what we call a keyword, which basically a keyword means access doesn't interpret this as any text or a value. This is a this is how it's going to be evaluated. Okay, it's a keyword that helps access determine how to make the evaluation of the criteria. And like is the key phrase that must accompany any wild cards that we put in for our criteria. So here we're saying update table one customers customer name to Smiles Incorporated when it is like Smiles Inc. asterisk. All right. So let's go ahead and go to design, click on run. And now it says again, I'm about to update three rows. Click on yes. Now I look at my table one customers and Smiles Incorporated, Smiles Incorporated, and Smiles Incorporated. Okay. So that's how you make an evaluation based upon like uh, as your criteria. You can also do uh, mathematical, um, and we'll get into the mathematical one here when we do our delete query, but understand that all of these criterias are going to be the same for in all of your selects, in your updates, your make tables, and your delete queries. All of them will have the same criteria with the same exact syntax to, to filter out your information. All right, so next up is the delete query, and I uh, hope to see you there.